We're looking at ultrasonic instrumentation. I want to show you the difference between two techniques. One is probe style ultrasonic technique. All of your basic instrumentation rules apply to this technique. So you still want to have the modified pen grasp. You want to have a fulcrum intraoral one to four teeth away. And you're going to position the instrument just like you would a probe. In the interproximal spaces, you're going to use a tapping motion. You want to tilt into that call space. We use a sweeping motion across the straight buckle, straight lingual, depending on where you're at, and then tapping motion again into that mesial contact space. Reposition for the distal contact, tap there, sweeping motion across the straight, and then tapping again, mesial contact. Probe-style ultrasonic instrumentation. You can also use curette-style instrumentation with ultrasonic scalers. For curette-style, you're going to position the instrument like you would a curette. And this can only be used for interproximals. So curette style, curette style. Also, just like with probing and with using curettes, your patient operator positioning for curette style does need to change for towards and away surfaces. For probe style, you do not need to change your patient operator positioning, just like you don't with probing. So for the away surfaces, you're going to go to 12 o'clock, and again, can only be used really interproximally. Can, can still come around the line angle. My recommendation for beginning ultrasonic instrumentation is to do probe style throughout the sextant that you're working on. Remove everything that you can with probe style. Spending more time in places with more calculus. And then once you're finished with probe style in that sextant, then come back and do your curette instrumentation in places that you might need to remove calculus up underneath the contact and on the line angles very helpful for those places when you are using curette style instrumentation you need to remember that you want to keep the lateral sides of the instrument on the tooth like so Sometimes we see people that instrument this way, and if you do this, then you have the face of the instrument adapted to the tooth. So curette style, you want to keep lateral side against the tooth.